Welcome to this tutorial on managing custom trained models in Scenario. This guide will walk you through the key tools and strategies for efficiently organizing and optimizing AI models in your own workspace. With features like tags, collections, thumbnails, and pinned images, you can streamline your workflows and enhance overall usability. To get started, access your models by navigating to the model gallery from the menu. Here, you can view all models and sort or filter them by type and category. Use the Your Models filter to display only your own models. Click on a model's thumbnail to open its model page. From the model page, you can choose to use the model for standard generations, compose a multi-LoRa model, or utilize Scenario Live for live painting and real-time rendering. Naming your models is key for keeping them organized. To rename a model, Click the pencil icon next to the model's name, type in the new name, and save changes. This makes each model easily searchable and identifiable at a glance. To make your models even easier to find, add tags. Go to the Details tab of your model and enter tags in the Tag section. For multi-word tags, separate the words with underscores or dashes. Some predefined categories are available. To tag multiple models at once, select them in the gallery and apply tags to the entire batch in a single step. This method helps save time and maintain an organized workspace. Adding a thumbnail and pinned images will improve your model's visibility and usability. Thumbnails provide a quick visual reference, while pinned images highlight what your model can typically produce. Additionally, Adding pinned images creates a carousel in the thumbnail, offering a quick way to preview multiple outputs at a glance. More importantly, pinned images enable the use of the Prompt Spark feature when generating. Prompt Spark suggests new prompts with a relevant structure and theme, drawing inspiration from both the training set and the prompts used in the pinned images. In the Details tab, you can add a detailed description to clearly convey your model's capabilities. Descriptions are key to helping users understand your model's purpose, features, or use cases. The Prompt Embedding section allows you to add default prompts that will automatically be included in the prompt for all generations created with the model behind the scenes. This is useful when you want to consistently add the same tokens every time. To group related models and generations, you can use Collections. Simply select a model and choose the Add to Collection option. All generations created with that model will automatically be added to the same collection, simplifying content management and making it easier to access related items. Be sure to check out our video tutorial on how to use collections. To edit a multi-LoRa model, Locate the composed model in your gallery and click on the three-dot menu next to it. Select Edit to manage your compositions by adding or removing models and adjusting the influence of each LoRa component. This lets you adjust the balance of styles or traits from each model to fine-tune your results. Transferring models between workspaces is another useful feature in a multi-workspace setup. Open the model page and select Transfer Model from the three-dot menu. Then, enter the workspace ID or select a destination from the list. A copy of the model will be transferred. You can easily retrain a model by selecting the Retrain Model option from the Multi-Options menu on the model page. This allows you to update the model's training data or make adjustments to the settings for improved performance. Be sure to check out our tutorial on how to evaluate and refine models. If you need a duplicate of your model for experimentation or customization, simply use the Duplicate Model option from the same menu. By utilizing these tools, you can keep your workspace organized even with dozens or hundreds of models and maximize efficiency. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials on getting the most out of Scenario.